Okay, pretend you work here. Your specialty is the Aurelia Orita, or moon jelly. Or maybe it's superconductors, or perhaps black holes, or volcanoes, or whatever it is. Let's just say it's moon jelly. The reason you are an expert is because you spend a lot of time here in the field and here in the lab doing research on moon jellies, trying to answer that question that no one has asked before. But this research costs money. So you go to the NSF, and the NSF wants to know that you are a good investment. They want to know that the money they spend on your research will advance the science and positively impact society. Whether that's educating the public or helping policymakers, why does learning about jellies matter to them? You need to show why it's important for other people to understand your work. The question you need to answer is what's the broader impact of your research? Now, the Broader Impact Wizard is designed to help you craft a broader impact statement to share your research with others. Let's take a look at some of these ideas you'll need to know when working through this wizard. Let's start with audience. You need to show that you can communicate the importance of your work outside your discipline or the scientific community. This could be anything from youth groups to members of an industry, like fisher people. The audiences that you target will influence how you present your work. What resonates with one group might not resonate with another, so you have to modify your message accordingly. Collaborative partnerships. You can't effectively make a broader impact doing everything yourself, and you shouldn't. There are people out there whose expertise centers around, say, web design, curriculum development, or video production. You'll be far more successful communicating your research if you partner with these people and leverage their expertise. And remember, your broader impact project can be a powerful opportunity to engage communities. Working with local organizations like a school is a great way to spread your research to a wider audience. Statement of uniqueness. Your broader impact statement should aspire to the same level of uniqueness that your research does. It's gonna be new. No one wants to fund research that's already been done. Similarly, you have to find your niche. Leverage what your institution already has to offer, such as partnerships or programs, to create something new. Do something you are comfortable with in a way you like to communicate. The key is to find broader impact approaches that are proven to work and apply them to your research in a new way. You have to get creative. Evaluation plan. You want to know your message is going to resonate with your intended audience. The best way to do that is to conduct evaluation. So even if you've built the Jellies research site, you've partnered with the local aquarium, developed a STEM-rich moon jelly curriculum for K through 12, and you've got a snazzy moon jelly video, if what you're saying isn't resonating with your intended audience, you haven't met the goals of broader impacts. There are professionals, internal and external to your institution, who can help you collect information on whether you have met your project's objectives. And if necessary, they can tweak your message to make sure you're actually making an impact and not wasting resources. And finally, a defensible budget for your broader impact. The first step is to realize that a broader impact program is not an add-on. You should think of it as an integral part of your identity as a scholar in both research and broader impacts. Second, be realistic. Working with people costs money. Everyone needs to be paid fairly for what they do. Supplies cost money, travel, overhead. Everything should be included in a realistic budget. So in the end, know that you have to spend money. A budget that is well thought out and covers all your bases gets you one step closer to locking in funding. Ultimately, if you do it right, the results are worth it. And now, it's your turn. The wizard awaits.